Hey guys, it's Jules and today I have a huge magical Funko Pop haul. Now, when I say magical, I mean Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, of course. Right here, laid out are 21 Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts Pops. Yes, 21. It is a huge haul and I am super excited to show all of these to you guys. Let's start with everybody's favorite house elf, Dobby. He's so cute. Bobby is number 17 in the line, and I believe this is wave two of Harry Potter. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute he is. Uh, his little nose is so pointy. He's got the little wrinkle effects on him, and he's holding the sock. How cute could this get? This is adorable. I love it. Uh, let's do somebody from Fantastic Beasts. Let's do everybody's favorite muggle or nomage, Jacob Kowalski. Uh, he is so cute. Him and Queenie were my favorite from the movie. Like, as a couple. Oh, no, no, no. I gave away too much. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Look at him. First of all, he's wearing his little outfit, which this isn't my favorite outfit of his. I hope they come out with a second version of him where he's holding his little case that looks like Newt's too. Um, but this is cute. He's wearing his little helmet and the little kind of like uh, padding the Newt gave him. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's really cute. The detail is all there. It looks just like him. I really like this pop. It's really cute. Now this is number 27 in the line and this is Hot Topic exclusive and it's Harry Potter with his sweater that Molly uh, Weasley makes him. He's oh, he's so cute. He's wearing his little glasses. His hair is very Harry Potter. You can tell he's still young in this movie. Um, the thing I don't like is that his hands are just kind of to the side like all serious. But that's okay, uh, and he's wearing his little sweater. Now, what I will say is that the sweater does have the little texture. is made to look kind of like a, a sweater that was knitted, so I appreciate Funko doing that. Um, he's kind of plain, but I had to have him because I'm trying to collect the entire Harry Potter line. Newt Scamander himself. Now, this is number 02 in the line, and it is the, uh, the regular Newt because there is a Comic-Con exclusive where he's holding the case. Now this box is a little messed up, but I got it for free, so beggars can't be choosers. He is so freaking cute. I'm going to say that about all of these because I love the movies. Anyways, <laughs> but this is really cute. Now it's not my favorite nude, but I do appreciate that he's holding the wand and he's got the egg, the silver egg. That's really cool. That was a, a cute moment in the movie. That's where he met Jacob. This is Ron in his sweater as well to match Harry. It is Hot Topic exclusive, number 28 in the line. Now, he looks just like Harry. The same stance. Yeah, he's got the same stance. Pretty plain. The Ron, typical Ron hair. He's got the R in his sweater for Ron. It's also textured. It's pretty plain. But I do like it. Um, I do really do like it. I have to have it again because I'm trying to complete my set. He's cute. Let's do Percival. So this is number seven in the line. And yeah, it's Percival Graves. Oh gosh, he is so cool. I didn't think I was going to like him as much. But he's actually like really cool. Oh my god. So his outfit has all of the details. His wand looks just like his wand. His hair is my favorite part. You can see the gray type of uh, effects on it because it goes from uh, the, the black that he has in his hair to the gray on the bottom, which is, oh my God, everything about this pop is just really awesome. This one I'm really excited to show you guys because it's a double feature. It is the Weasley twins, Fred and George. And now this is I have no idea what numbers they are actually are individually because I got the two pack. Okay, never mind. I'm seeing it on the back of this box. Fred is number 33 in the line and George is number 34 in the line. But as you can see, this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive because they are in the two pack. If you're an inbox collector and you want them like this together, this you can get that from uh, not Barnes & Noble, Books A Million. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, oh my gosh, they are super, super cool. I love these boys, so let's look at them individually. Let's go with Fred first. 
Um, he is, I mean, he looks just like Fred. The hair, they nailed it just like Ron's. He's wearing his little, uh, Gryffindor sweater with his little pants, his tie, and he's wearing the Weasley and Weasley, uh, he's not wearing, he's carrying the Weasley and Weasley briefcase, which is really cool from that scene in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, is it? I think it's the Order of the Phoenix where they're talking to Harry and they both, and he has this, and then, um, George also has... I'll insert a picture here, but this is awesome. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him. And let's look at uh, George now. Oh, my gosh. You can see he's carrying the little Weasley. Uh, what are those called? The Weasley uh, little boxes from their little... From the, the Weasley boxes. What are those called? Somebody let me know in the comments what those are exactly called because I don't remember right now. But he looks pretty much just like uh, Fred except that he's carrying something else. You know, Fungo could have made two identical pops and put it up there and been like, here's Fred and George, but they actually made them specific to exactly what they were carrying in that scene, and I really appreciate that. That's really cool. I like these. Let's these. do the Niffler. So this is number 08 in the line, and this is a Hot Topic exclusive. This is a Flock Niffler. Oh, he's fussy. He's so cute. Look at him. I wish you guys could feel him through the camera. Uh, flock pops are so cool and he is so cute and this one he's holding the coins um and he's got some in his little pouch and his little stomach he's so cute this pop is adorable i love the niffler who was your favorite fantastic beast character let me know in the comments this is number 26 in the line it is harry potter in his um outfit from the dragon challenge from goblet of fire he is a target exclusive harry potter and the goblet of fire is my favorite movie my favorite book so this pop when i saw it i was like yes give it to me right now this is even better out of the box oh my god guys this is the best harry potter pop there is now i thought harry potter and the sorting hat was my favorite pop of harry but no this is it all the details are there. You can see Potter on the back with the star underneath. The colors are there. You can see the Hogwarts crest on the side. Oh my god, even the details on the golden egg. Holy crap. Harry Potter's wand is a lot longer longer than the others in this. I wonder why that is. Huh. And he, oh my god. This, this is my favorite Harry Potter pop there is. This is, the details are just amazing. You can even see the little uh, ties on the on his little um, robes. Oh my god. I love this pop. This is my favorite Harry Potter pop. Hands down. I'm declaring it right now, guys. Tina Goldstein. So this is number 04 in the line. And this is Tina Goldstein. Um, let's look at her in the box. She is really cool, though. She's a really cool pop. They nailed it with the little hat and her hair. It looks just like Tina. Oh my god. Her clothes, they also got on point. You can even see the little necklace she's wearing. It looks like a little golden egg. That's really cool. I like how they nailed the difference. Even though her outfit is all gray, you can tell it's different colors are gray. That's pretty good. Ugh, I love this pop. This is really cool. Number 30 in the line, Lucius Malfoy. This is the Hot Topic exclusive, and it is Lucius in his Death Eater mask. This is, oh my god, freaking awesome. I've never been more excited over a Harry Potter pop since the Dementor. This is sick. He looks awesome. I love how he has his walking stick and it has the detail, even the green eye on the snake stick. Oh my god. He's got his ring details on his hands. That's awesome. The outfit, you can see all of the details in it, all of the markings that it would have on his little robes. The mask, oh man, he looks so cool. It's almost metallic. Wouldn't it be cool if they had like a chrome exclusive of this i would like that a lot this is really awesome i hope they do the others and their death eater mask too because i kind of want a whole little group of death eaters this is okay this is cool next we have seraphina pickery she's number six in the fantastic beast line Goodness. she looks so cool the detail in this pop is just incredible her headpiece has all of the gold that she has it has like a little bird right there a bunch of gold roses and the little spikes at the top it's incredible and the back it has this beautiful shade of green and it has all the folds that her headpiece does you can see her hair it has like um the white slash uh or gray whatever you want to call it peeking through with the little curl right there it's incredible they nailed it her dress now she only wore this dress in the movie for like a for not that long she wore her other outfit but they captured the essence of her dress i mean it has all the gold everything is perfectly painted too 
this is just a beautiful pop. Even on the back, she has like all the little buttons in gold. It's the per like such a perfect paint job on a pop. Serafina was one of my favorites. Now, and next from Harry Potter, we have number 38 in the line, Mad Eye Moody. Ugh, another pop that I was just like super excited for them to make. I was like, when they when I saw that they were making this, I was like, oh my god, super excited but nervous because this is a character that they just had to nail because look at this. I mean, look at him. Face has all the details that Mad Eye Moody has. It has all the scars. The eyebrows are bushy, just like Mad Eye Moody has. You can see where the strap meets the eyepiece. The eye itself, the details are there. It looks exactly like Mad Eye Moody. I can't get over how perfect the scars are. His outfit is perfect as well. His outfit has all the buckles and zippers that his outfit has. He's holding his wand. He also has his walking cane, and that even has like the details of like the wood. It has the face on it, the eyes, and the mouth. That's insane. The hair is a perfect sculpt. On the back also, they got the jacket perfect. This is a really well done pop. A character that they could have easily messed up, but they nailed it. Okay, and next we have number 03 in the Fantastic B sign in and it's Queenie Goldstein. Now, besides Newt, she's my second favorite character in Fantastic Beasts because I just loved as a person who she was. This pop is beautiful. The hair best hair I've seen on a pop ever. They have all the curls done just right, just like Queenie. Her eyebrows are flirty, just like Serafina's. Her dress is kind of like this blue, like a navy type of thing. And it's got pink underneath and they got even the little straps that her dress has in the back and in the front, which I thought was really cute. And her dress kind of has like this thing on the waist and they also got that holding her wand very delicately like queenie does I like this pop because it's very like 1920s which is where the movie is set i think it's like 1928 or 1926 i'm not sure don't quote me on that but it's very like flapper girl and it's my favorite time for fashion so i really really like this pop my favorite gal number 29 in the line Bellatrix Lestrange. This is the Hot Topic exclusive because she's in her prison outfit. This pop, look at First of all, it fits in my freaking hand. That's huge. Her hair is like mainly this pop. This is perfect. Now the hair, oh my god, I just said Queenie's hair was the best hair I've seen in a pop. But this is also the best hair I've seen in a pop. First of all, they got the, oh my god, this is just so freaking cool. They got like uh, the brown, but it's also lighter brown that kind of has like this, um, gray effect to her which is how her hair looks when she comes out of Azkaban and then also later on because homegirl ain't got time to color her hair and this is this looks just like it just like it I mean look at that this is sick and she's got that one curl coming down her face like she always does in the movie oh my god this is brilliant in her prison outfit right there her Azkaban outfit so cool it's the prop they muted it to the right color and she's even wearing her sign right there that has her uh, prisoner number. Oh my god. And she's got the chains. This pop is one of my favorites. Like this is sick, 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 sick. It looks just like Bellatrix. Oh man, Funko is killing it. Next is the other Niffler number nine of the Fantastic Beast line. And it is Niffler with the coin purse. He's a Target exclusive because he's so cute. Who doesn't love that face? He's so adorable. His little nose, his little face. Everything is so cute. Now in this one, yeah, the only difference between this one and the flocked, um, I mean in the other pop, this is just the flocked version, but there's the, those are the two different uh, molds of Niffler. He's holding the coin purse and the Target exclusive, and in the Hot Topic and in the regular, he's holding coins. Um, really cute. I mean, you don't really need both, but if you're a Niffler fan like me, you need both. They're really, really cute. I love them both. Next we have number 39 in the line, and it is Dolores Umbridge. Ugh. She's just so cute. Her pink is just the right amount of pink, and her shoes are di different shade of pink, of course. Her outfit has details that are like little bows that are um, darker shades of pink, which is perfect. She's got her little uh, brooch on her outfit, uh, her little pink bow higher up on her little um, dress. Her wand, her wand even has the pink in the middle, which I appreciate them doing that. She's even wearing one of her cat rings, I believe. You can't see the cat, but I see one of her rings that is white. Her hair sculpt is, again, brilliant. She's got the brown with a lighter uh, strand of hair here in the front like she does. They made, they gave her the little bag so she looks like Umbridge, She's, who's a little older. This is cute. I love this. And from Fantastic Beasts, 
I have Newt Scamander and Pickett, who are number 10 in the line. They are Hot Topic exclusive. So here we have Newt, and here is little Pickett the Bull Truckle. He's so cute. But let's look at Newt first. He's wearing his little um, white button-up shirt with his little yellow mustard vest, is what I would call it. You just call it brown. I just wouldn't really detail those. Like, that is yellow mustard color. Anyways, and he has his bow tie, which is navy. Uh, he's got his little pocket watch, I think. That's what that is. And his wand. And he's got his brown pa uh, trouser pants. And his shoes. And basically, it looks just like Newt, like the other pops. Not much of a diff. I mean, the outfit is the only difference between this and the other Newt pop. But I had to have it because it's another pop of Newt and I'm obsessed with Newt. So yeah, I had to have this also because it came with freaking Picket. Look at how tiny and cute that is. Oh, he doesn't stand on my hand. But he is so cute. They nailed even the... Oh my god, what kills me about this little pop is that they made it feel just like a leaf. So fragile. They managed to give it a little pop eyes. Oh my god. Funko, I don't know what you're doing, but well, you're doing a freaking and right. This is the last Harry Potter pop. There's one more Fantastic Beast pop, but this is the last Harry Potter pop that I'm going to show you in this haul. And it is the best one, of course. I've saved it for last. Harry Potter with Hedwig. Oh my god. This is number 31 in the line, and it is a Hot Topic exclusive. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh my god. The fact that he's holding Hedwig like that done done this is perfect this is just oh my god i need to have a moment with this pop because this is just beautiful hedwig again just like pickett has the little pop eyes and it's so cute so cute they nailed all the details it's got the little um the little uh feather details on hedwig's eyes oh my god harry is wearing his gloves he's wearing his uh, uh gryffindor globes from the winter time and he's got his gryffindor scarf can they do all of them in their scarves? Because I need a Draco Malfoy in his Slytherin scarf because hashtag Slytherin pride. Oh my god, this is perfect. Now the head is just like all the other Harry Potter ones, but the outfit is significantly different. It's the only Harry Potter pop that looks like this. And of course it's got Hedwig. What more could you want in a pop? This last pop that I'm about to show you guys, I would say the best one, the cutest one for last. It is from the Fantastic Beast line. It is number 11 and it is the Demiguise Creature. Look at how cute he is. Oh my god. So this completes my set. I have all of the Fantastic Beast Pops, all 11. Now, there is an exclusive of the Demiguise creature. It is an Amazon exclusive. I will link it in the description below. And in the exclusive, he is invisible. It's really cool. I have that on pre-order. It comes out February something, I think February 12th. Don't quote me on that. But I will link that in the description below for you guys to order it. Um, let's just look at this one out of the box though, because, oh my god. Literally, I just found this at, at my local GameStop. This is a common, by the way. But, I just found this at my local GameStop yesterday, and I lost it. I was like, yes, he is so freaking cute. So ugly that it is actually cute. I love it. They got the detail on his hair so freaking well done. Like, oh my god, this is one of the most perfect pops I've seen. I love it. I love it. The eyes are perfect. The little nose. Oh, I just want to squeeze it. It's so cute. And he's got his hair, like the detail all around. This is beautiful. His little tail, his little big feet. It's so cute. He's holding his little hands like that. Like he's shy. He's so cute. I want them to make the rest of the creatures from Fantastic Beasts because I love them all. This is super cute. I mean, that was it for this video. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. I think I would have to pick Pickett and the Demi guys because they're so cute. The creatures, I just love them. But let me know which was your favorite. Are you guys collecting the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast line? Let me know. Did you love Fantastic Beasts? Let me know anything related to this or whatever you want to talk to me in the comments. Let me know. And as always, if you guys like this video, please feel free to subscribe, like it, and keep coming back for more. Bye, guys.